Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a very special package today uh, and I'm absolutely blown away by this. Um, yeah, I got contacted by the lovely Becky from Becky's Diamond Bling. Uh, go check her out on YouTube. I'll put all the links down below and everything as well. She just reached her thousand subscribers. Yay! Congratulations, Becky. And uh, yeah, she did a giveaway. And what she did was she gave um, the person who commented a $25 gift card. And then she also asked that person to nominate somebody, uh, somebody else for the other $25 gift card. And the lovely Bronwyn Hulse uh, nominated me. And I just... I'm absolutely blown away. So huge thank you to Becky um, for sending me the gift card and a huge thank you to Bronwyn for nominating me. This all happened just before Christmas and um, I did think at the beginning, oh, this is a scam, you know, when you, you get... Um, an email or a message and it says oh you've won a 25 dollar gift card and you think yeah 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 but becky did actually email me as well so this isn't a scam um and i watched her video on youtube again i'll put a link down to that as well and wow i am absolutely blown away and as you know it was poorly and we had all sorts going on and it was just a tonic to cheer me up and then this parcel has just arrived and um, it's come from amazon because i asked for an amazon gift card uh, the gift card was for amazon in uh, becky's country so i ordered it from the amazon there so it's taken a little bit longer to come but that's great because that means it's arrived on that horrible week in between christmas and new year where you don't know what day it is and um, it seems like saturday every day you don't know what's going on you don't know whether to put the dustbin out or not put the dustbin out and let's just watch the neighbors and see what they do <laughs> so this is a lovely surprise um i've opened the packet and i've opened the little box that it's come in as well uh, just so that i'm not fiddling about opening it up but i've not actually looked at it yet it's not something that i've seen anywhere else uh, it is diamond painting uh, i said oh well i'm going to treat myself to something diamond painting then uh yay what else would you do if you get a 25 dollar gift card yay i'm so excited about this and i'm just as i say blown away i can't thank uh, becky and bronwyn enough uh yeah it's just amazing for somebody to think of me um i'm just thank you thank you thank you anyway let's get in and have a look so it's come a long long way and i say it's come in a nice little box and it's something that I've seen similar things, but I've never actually seen this one. So let me know whether you've seen it or not. But I absolutely love it. Look, there's a gem there that's escaped from something. Um, yeah, I've been tidying up and doing all sorts today. And then this came and I thought, I'm just going to have to have a play. I'm going to have to go and make a video. So, oh, look, it's a special drill project. Of course it is. It's a Liz unboxing. So let's uh, get some of this packaging opened. Oh, oh, I can see something there. So let me see if I can do it this way. Leave what it is till last. As you can see, special dress. So, oh, 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 can you see this? Oh, so we're all crystals. Look at all those. Oh, and I can see a hot pink as well. Yay. Uh, pen boat wax oh and some nice little grip seal bags as well using a lot of those for specials at the moment and let's take it out of the packet come on come on oh look it's escaping on its own <laughs> and oh it's actually i thought it was uh I thought it was going to be metal, but actually this is like a very strong acrylic. And as far as I know, it's magnetic. But look at that. It's an home home. <laughs> oh, that's just uh, on the top packaging, I think. I don't think. Is that underneath? Let me have a look. Oh, no, it is underneath. Oh, dear. He's got a mucky nose. Never mind. Right. So this is a special. It's a hanger. So this gnome hasn't got any gems on him, but we have got two holes to hang the little sign up with. It is quite heavy, but as I said, I'm sure it's like metally magnetic -y. So let's have a look at this. Doesn't matter about the mucky nose, because I think we're going to be covering him over. Look. Oh, 
Oh, you can't quite see that on camera. I've got the dirty hands now as well. Let's uh, get into this one and have a look. Gosh, it's more packaging than I know what to do with. Another bag. It's in a bag, in a bag, in a bag. In a bag, in a bag. <laughs> Why do they always like to trip me up with these bags and hide them so that I can't see where to open it? <laughs> oh, another big bag. Oh, and it's a piece of string. So it's not actually a chain that this hangs up from. It's a piece of string, which actually is quite nice. Um, it gives it a bit more of a rustic, rustic, rustic flavour. Uh, yeah, we've got guide circles, so we'll have to be careful putting the gems down. But yeah, this is like really thick, I think, magnetic sort of acrylic, as it were. Uh, unless it's acrylic and it's just got a magnetic... Um, piece on top i'll have to see see where we are but yeah so we have two bags and i think they're all oh more bags like i don't know i don't think i've ever had so many bags <laughs> it's well and truly protected so let's have a look at these these are the diamond painting bits we have one two Oops, come on, they are magnetic because they're stuck together. Three, four, five, six. Get the next bag with another bag, with a bag, with a bag, with a bag. <laughs> okay, and then that's our Christmas one. So, seven. Eight, nine, let's just move that up a bit, see if we can get it on camera. Oops. Ten. Eleven, twelve. So I just thought this was absolutely fabulous. It's brilliant. It's basically 12 months of the year and you get a gnome for each month which is just brilliant eh? i'm not quite sure which way around we're going to go so i'm guessing that one might be january because we've got like hot chocolate and a mug there maybe if i look at the other like gnome months that i've got that might give me um a little bit of a, a guess uh, i'm guessing that one's going to be february for um valentine's so that one could be march for saint patrick's day april possibly bunny for easter easter might not be april i'm not quite sure when it is this year um so january february march april may what would be may uh, might may be watermelons i'm not quite sure when watermelons come out June, we've got lemons there. July is going to be 4th of July, isn't it? Because we've got the stars and stripes. August is likely to be sunflowers, maybe, or bees, maybe. August, September sunflowers. October is going to be Halloween. Not quite sure what that one is. November... And then December, we've got that one. So I think so. Um, I'll, I can double. I mean, it doesn't really matter which way around you put them, but I just thought these are going to be fab. Uh, just get them diamond painted and get them put up. So what I'll probably do um, is do. I've got my January sign to do. Uh, you know, my January blah, 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 January month. Unless that's. I suppose that might be November. No, I think this is we get more snow in January and February than we do in like November, December. So then I can pop that on there. This is going to be like a nice neutral colour underneath. Oh, he don't quite cover over, does he? There, just got a little bit of the star show in there. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, quite stuck on there. It's got the plastic underneath, so it might slip a bit, but it does seem to be stuck. And then this is going to hang up. 
so what i'll probably do is actually have this in my hallway uh, i have got something similar i've got one that's a big tin um and it's got like an owl and the owl is holding the different items for each month that's got birthday cakes and all things like that and easter eggs and and a wreath i think and a, a maple leaf or something like that so i but i just thought this was brilliant and just the thought that we've got 12 little gonks as well yeah this is my january sign look that i'm going to be doing um so yeah we can have january with the january gonk there i think and i'll maybe just maybe follow along with the theme of those so i'll get that one out ready to do next the first one that's not christmasy albeit i have i keep thinking shall i do my christmas ones or not but now i've got this i think oh i might just do this <laughs> Uh, it is uh, smashing the specials this month as well. So um, Mindy, Mindy's Diamond Moment and uh, Brandy, Mysteria Diamonds. Uh, sorry, Mysteria Diamonds um, are doing smashing the specials. I believe this one's possibly six and it is all done on their Facebook page. Both ladies are going to be doing videos on YouTube on their youtube channels and um, but prizes and completion uh, finishes and everything are to be put on their facebook page and i can understand that because i must admit when i've done giveaways and things um and we do our 30 by 40 um challenge doing 30 by 40 canvases it is quite difficult using instagram because when you start getting a lot, it just shows the top ones and the most recent ones. It doesn't show all of them. There's no page that actually shows all of them. So unless you're going on all the time, gosh, look how black my hands are off this magnet stuff. Oh, I'll have to <laughs> have a bit of a wash. I've got a bit grubby. <laughs> That's no good, is it? Yeah, this magnet's... Yeah, they're all a little bit grubby, so I'll have to give them a little bit of a wash first. Oh, and I've got sealer on my hands as well. I've been sealing this morning. Um, hopefully you'll have seen that video as well. So yeah, but this just arrived now. Oh, I've got to do this. But aren't these fabulous? Let's give them a quick measure with my grubby hands so you can have a bit of a measurement on it. So I'll put the link to it, uh, to the um, Amazon page. But sadly, as I say, it isn't a UK company. Uh, it isn't a UK Amazon. <laughs> It is an out of the UK Amazon. So it's 11 and a quarter inches, which is 18 and a half centimetres that way. It's hanging on to my tape measure with it being metal. Look, it's uh, grabbing it. And it's height wise 14 centimetres, which is about between five and a quarter and five and a half inches. And each of the little gonky gnomes are about five centimeters sorry five inches 13 centimeters so yeah i mean you don't have to use them on this is it just the middle bit that's magnetized oh no it's not the whole thing is so it's that seems to be uh more magnetized that seems to be a lot grabbing it more but that's Mm. so you could actually if you wanted just put them all along it without having the home if you don't want home um or if home isn't uh, your letter or whatever you could maybe just put them all along and uh, yay oh that's really really sweet i'm loving this and the fact that it's like um a thank you present from somebody it makes it all the more special but at the absolutely gorgeous so we've got our Christmas one with his Christmas tree and his woolly hat. Got little pink rosy cheeks, that one as well. So yeah, he's been out in the cold. We've then got, a say, January. We will be doing January. They've got little sparkly bits on the shoes look as well. And then February is your Valentine with your lovely big heart. Um, is that a lady or is that a man? I don't know. We've got like a just a single strand of like a moustache on that one little pink cheeks again oh i think they're all little boy gnomes i think they are all little boys yeah i can't see any plaits in there i think they've all got moustaches uh then yeah our nice greeny one for uh, st patrick's day in march and our bunny gnome so really i mean you can swap them over anyway you could always just put that one up for st patrick's day and then you can put this one up for easter because he's got an easter egg 
and I can't remember which order we we're going in. We're out of order now. Uh, and then we've got the pumpkin with the maple leaf on it there. Very nice. And I like the lemons. I'm not quite sure when lemon season is, to be fair. Um, maybe you can let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, it's not something that we particularly grow here. Or if we do, I've not seen them or know when they grow. Uh, definitely July, isn't it? For 4th of July. And honey, again, I suppose that's maybe summer for the bees and the honey. But again, I'm not really sure. I thought honey was sort of quite year roundish, but maybe not. Uh, I know we tend to get um, sunflowers sort of September, October-ish time. So maybe that's that sort of time. And again, watermelons are not something that we particularly grow here. So I'm not quite sure when their season is. I love the fact that the hat is a watermelon as well. I think that's fabulous. And then say that one looks like, well, which is Halloween to me. So, yeah, I suppose rather than being Halloween for that one, yeah, because he's got little bats on the hat as well. So that one's Halloween and that one's sort of autumn-y, whereas we normally sort of like have pumpkins halloween -y. So, yeah, um, should be quite fun to do. Lots of little gnomes, gonks, goblins, whatever you call them. <laughs> Let's have a look at the crystals, see how many colours we've got. We've got a lot of colours. Looks like they're all just your standard size. Oh no, we've got a couple. Oh, I've got a few specials. A few a couple of specials at the end there. Okay. So we are starting off. Oh, that starts at number five. So. Huh. Oh no, that's 15. <laughs> oh dear, if I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. So we've got like an orangey pumpkin colour. Oh, lots of standard crystals. Look at those. All very nice and shiny and sparkly. A little bit of an aqua blue and a baby pink. And that's like a, a greyy, greeny colour. And we have a like a bronzy, almost red, that one. Bronzy red and another pale pink. Oh, and I thought we had a hot pink, but they're not. There are reds and pinks. Never mind. So it's a, pale, a couple of palish pinks and we've got a cherry red and then more of an orangey red and no hot pink. Oh, I might have to just substitute. Right, then we've got a darker green and a limey green and an even darker green and your yellowy gold. And that's a standard 310 black and an amber colour. And then we have a blue and a purple and an orange and then we have those pearly ones with the star stamped into them and some little stars so there isn't a hot pink but i'm sure i can substitute some hot pink in somewhere i think we're gonna have to have a hot pink over here aren't we i've got lots of hot pink crystals so yeah i'll definitely be putting hot pink on this i'll have to use some of my stash yeah i've seen a couple together and i've thought they were hot pink and they're not but it's gorgeous and I love it. I feel very humbled. It's so kind of uh, Bronwyn to think of me and uh, for Becky to send them. Do go and check out Becky's channel. As I say, Becky's Diamond Bling. Uh, she has just reached her 1,000 subscribers, which is a massive milestone. Uh, you know, for us little channels, it takes a long time to get there and it's a lot of hard work to get there. So, yeah, do go along and check her out and say a big thank you from Liz as well because, uh, yeah, it's very, very kind of her. Okay, well, thank you ever so much uh, for watching. If you've uh, enjoyed looking at this with me and seeing something a little bit different, as I say, I've never seen this one before, but I absolutely love it. And a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you would like to come back and join our little family and join our little channel, uh, you can do that by pressing that subscribe button down in this corner and an all notifications bell pops up and then it sends you a notification to say hey Liz has uploaded a new video do you want to come and see it and hopefully you'll say yay just means you won't miss anything okay thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon bye for now